YouTube fans and support Green Atmos. Hey, this is Super War After Mark here, and I'm on the set here today. And I'm going to, in this video, I'm going to tell you about the difference between this bugler and this, this trumpet that you see over here. And plus two, uh, I'm going to show you a uh, difference between this and minute. Uh, plus two, I'm going to be talking about um, the upcoming battle I will be doing. And I'll be telling you about that also. Uh, to, plus two, I'll uh, be showing you something else at the end. I think you've already seen it. But it's so, uh, very interesting to me, so I'm going to show it to you again. Okay, and uh, I might show you my belt buckle. Let me get started. Now, let me show you this trumpet. Now, this is a very interesting instrument, isn't it? Long trumpet, kind of made of brass. But you notice the vowels up here in this ring up here? Now, look at the mouthpiece. Now, 150 years ago, they had trumpets similar to, to this one. Uh, let me show you in, in a book. Now, what I want you uh, viewers, uh, what I want you viewers and Civil War reenactments to do is keep your eyes on, this, on these vowels up here in this ring right here. Let me, show, uh, let me tell you why. Look at it in this book. Right, now, this is a book. Alright, you see the difference? Look at the difference. You see the difference with the mouthpiece? Look at that mouthpiece on that trumpet. Okay. Alright, the difference between this and that. You know what the difference is? 150 years ago, this is what this trumpet looked like. And this is what the trumpet looked like today. Now, you can't go to a store and buy a trumpet like this. Alright. This book probably is from 150 years ago during the Civil War. And look at the vowels. The vowels are right here, and here are the vowels right there. Okay? Now, these vowel, uh, this mouthpiece is right up here. Okay? And it's kind of wrapped around, right onto the horn part itself. This one is like a long tube, like right there. Alright? And there, that's where the mouthpiece is. But this mouthpiece... It was right, like, right on this long tube, okay? And that's the difference between this. But that's a very uh, interesting piece of trumpet, what you're looking at right there. This is from the Civil War era. And uh, let me get to a little bit of history there. Uh, a trumpet back then, during the Civil War days, 150 years ago, they probably played the trumpet uh, at the ball pipe dances, like... Uh, like soldiers, you know, soldiers who, who uh, wouldn't go into battle that day, or uh, I don't think they would have played a trumpet like this in the campgrounds. Uh, in ballroom type, or bar type dances, you know, uh, their sweethearts, you know, whatever, and they would go there, maybe in a barn, maybe, and they would dance. And you would uh, hear trumpets like this being played. And uh, that's the only thing I think that's how they would how they would do. Now let's look at the bugler. The bugler is a very interesting piece too. Now this is made of copper. Now this trumpet right here is not made of copper; it's made of brass. See it? Now look at the mouthpiece. Okay. Now I have uh, that same book. I'm gonna show you again in the same book on another another. Uh, view of it, and uh, I'll show that to you in just a minute, sorry about it. Okay, see these tassels? I love these tassels, aren't y'all? Very cool looking. Okay, and this is uh, CSA, now CSA stands for Confederacies. Now the only thing they would use this for back then, and they use it in renamings, is to sound the attack. And this is the this is the uh, this is the bugle that they, they would use to sound the attack back then. And probably your NCOs or CO officers back then would be up on horses or out in the field, and they would sound the attack with a, with a bugle. Now you don't see no vowels up here for the fingers. That's because your 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 lips will go on here, and you sound the attack with this. 
and this is what they were sound they attacked with back then. And they probably still use them on in reenactments. Uh, I would use this uh, just for demonstrating around here, just to show you all, is what I would use it for. Uh, but this is a very interesting, uh, very interesting deal. Now I have a, I have the same book and uh, so the Beaver, uh, but this is what th this is this uh, piece right here is very interesting. It is very small too. Uh, if you compare the two together, you can tell the trumpet is a little bit taller. Uh, but the bugler is a little bit smaller, okay, in the mouthpiece. See the mouthpiece is right up here on the trumpet. It's a little bit, it's a little bit taller. But compare those two right, right there. See the gold, okay. Uh, this one is not really gold. It's kind of gold, but it's kind of brass. But uh, I thought this was very interesting. Okay, now I'm going to show you. Now look at the tassels right here. Okay. Let's see if I can get this book here. All right. Okay. You see the... I'm going to have to hold it up like this so you all can see it. You see the see the bigger in, in, in this book? All right. You see the tassels? See the tassels is the same thing like right there. Now this is what they would sound they attack with. This is a, like a reproduction. But right here... This is uh, kind of like what they used back then, 150 years ago. They would use one just like this in the sound of attack. Uh, you will not see them probably at the ball type dances playing this. They use trumpets, like the one I showed you in the front in this, uh, on the other side. So they use trumpets, but they use this to sound the attack. And uh, the mouthpiece is just like this one right here. And uh, see the, the black test with the castles that are coming right down here? Okay, let me show you if I can. Whoa. See the tassels like right there? And uh, it's a very cool looking instrument. Uh, well, that came out of that book. And here, here, here's again, here's the trumpet, okay? And here's the mouthpiece. You see that? Uh, here's the mouthpiece right here. This wraps around here. And there's the vowels. I call them vowels. But this is where they put the fingers at. This is what they would play during the ball type dances. Because not so much your big person. That's mostly for, like I said, this sign of the attack. And they still they still have these in the reenactments. Okay. And while I was down and doing the Battle of Port Jefferson, they uh, I heard one of these go off. And they're very loud, but I wouldn't use it, uh, just, like I said, just to demonstrate. Now, I'm going to show you my belt buckle again. This is my belt buckle. Uh, it says CS on it. Can you see that on camera? Okay. It says CS on it. And this is supposed to go on, on my belt. Now, I don't know if I'm going to put this on, on, on my belt when I go and do the uh, reenactment in the Dallas, Texas area. And that battle is November the 15th. And uh, I, w I want to show this to you all again. And this is, uh, I really like this a lot. And you've probably seen that in one, one, one of my videos already. But this is so, so neat. I'm going to show it to you all again. I'm going to bring it to the camera so you all can see it. It says right there. I want you all to see this again. Okay. All right. I want to see if I can bring well, Let's see. I'm going to pour it back to us. Can you all see that on camera? Okay. All right, yeah, okay. See, it says YouTube star. That's me. Okay. Uh, Civil War. Uh, Civil War. Dr. Mark Robinson. Averaging over 1,000 viewers. That's y'all. And for uh, YouTube Civil War instruction videos. I just thought I might show that to y'all again. And uh, remember, subscribe to my channel and leave me comments. Uh, leave me comments on, on, on this, on, on this what I just showed you. Leave me comments on it. Uh, subscribe to my channel. And uh, I'll upload this to YouTube. Till then, I'll see you next time. Bye.